Happy Vlogmas day number six. Okay, so I am already, I dyed my hair. Look, no more grays. It does always look so weird that when I do it, like I, I don't like it. And I cut it myself. I cut like a big freaking chunk off because I'm so sick of the long hair. Stefano loves long hair, but I hate it. And he's not the one that has to deal with it, right? Men don't have to deal with the hair. I'd really rather have it a little bit shorter, but plus I'm a little bit older, you know, and it's like a pain to like constantly have to fix and get ready. So, all right, so today we are headed over to, I was gonna go to Hobby Lobby, but I actually have to go in the opposite direction because I have to go to the bank. So I am going to the bank. I gotta go hit your hands real quick. And um, then I'm gonna go in Target just to see what they have. They never have anything at my Target. My Target stinks. Um, and then I am going to go to Walmart because I have to get something for dinner um, because Stefano and I are going to go shopping Monday when he has all, well no not Monday because we're going to see my grandmother um, probably Tuesday so I'm just going to get a couple quick things oh, little baby. I'm going to get a couple quick things to make for um, dinner uh, um, this week and that is it let me show you Okay, so that is yet another cat. Like, see what I'm saying? Like, I, and she's waiting for me to leave because I did pour food for them. So she's waiting for me to leave. Is this on four wheel? I'm gonna put this on four wheel. I don't know if she has her babies with her or not. I don't know. I'm gonna try to, try to see. She's watching. <gasps> Ooh. So we slipped. Uh, it's because there's ice here. And usually he backs in for me, but today he didn't. Oh, so weird. Oh, I gotta get it out of four wheel. Yeah, she's just watching for me to leave. Let me get this out of four wheel. Okay. Alright, so there's this like weird whistling going on in my car. I don't know what the heck it or the truck. I don't know what it is. So again, it is a nice, a sunny, a bright day. I hope I brought some sunglasses. I always seem to forget them when it is this sunny. I can't stand it. And then I always wind up having to buy a, a pair of sunglasses at the Dollar Tree. Oh, I have some. I have a, I have a dirty pair. Let me just see. So, all right. So with keto, let me tell you guys about my keto journey. It's really stinking right now. Like really, I have been stuck at the same weight for the last two and a half months. I can't drop any more weight. I'm not gaining, but I'm not dropping any more weight. And it's really getting frustrating now like I'm getting so frustrated um, I tried the whole drop in my carbs a little bit and so I I don't know I don't know what I'm doing wrong I'm doing something wrong I mean besides not exercising I don't know what else I can do um, you know besides going to the gym and exercising I mean that would be the proper thing to do but until I get my clearance I'm not going to do that I'm not gonna hurt myself um, so I do have like a couple yoga things I can do at home, which don't like won't hurt my knees. Um, so I'll try them and see if that works. But like the summer is over, so I'm not riding my bike anymore. Um, it's like freezing cold. So we're not riding our bikes. We're not going to the state park and taking those long, long walks that we used to. Um, so, you know, it's like, a whole bunch of like not really doing that much I have been going to the store but and when I go to the store I do walk the whole entire stores I'm in there like at least an hour walking so that that way I can get some exercise in but you know like the last couple days I've been like on my feet a lot like cleaning and reaching and cleaning and like just doing all kinds of crazy stuff so which I usually don't do I mean I clean every day but this is like craziness, like vacuuming and washing walls and doing all kinds of stuff like that. So, you know, I have to get it done. Um, so this is a vlog with day number six. I do have a quick DIY for you guys. Um, I might put it up. Also, I have a Dollar Tree haul, which is going to be separate from my vlogmas because I'm not going to combine those two things. Um, and if somebody had sent me an email asking me about the GoFundMe page, I will start the GoFundMe page for the kittens. Um, you know, they, okay, so if they go, this is, I'll explain the story. 
if if they go to the pound because they you know because you know the SBCA ASPCA whatever you want to call it if they go to the to that they will not be adopted because they are not friendly oh that is a little coyote um because they are not friendly um they are very far from being friendly they they're not cuddly little babies you know what i mean they're kittens but they're not that cuddly cute little thing that you dream about having and like they don't come up like my two are cuddly oh my gosh they're they're two cuddle bugs they're just they love to cuddle um but these two were raised outside and they were outside just a little too long. They're very, their mother's, um, she'll let you pet her, she'll rub all over you, but do not pick her up. Don't even try it, she will snap out. Um, so they see her, their mom and they try to be cuddly like that. So, um, but if you touch them, they will take off. They will not, they don't appreciate that. So, um, so therefore, they will be put down. And I believe that they have a chance. And I don't believe in putting a cat to sleep just because of no fault of its own, it was born outside and it's not used to people. Um, it's like a bobcat. You're not gonna go up and like adopt a bobcat and go, oh, look at this cute little thing. I'm just gonna take that home. You know what I mean? You don't do that. So like these guys, they deserve a chance and that's what I'm giving them. I'm giving them a chance. And I know we took this on ourselves, but they do need medical assistance. And because it's some human that threw their mother out, they need help. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to start the GoFundMe page and they are going to go and they have medical issues that need to be taken care of. And you know, I just, I just hope that people can help them out um, and give them a chance to, you know, to be kitty cats and to live a happy life and play with toys. And they've never played with a toy. They never were in a litter box. Now they go in a litter box. They didn't know where their next meal was coming from. They were starving when we got them. Um, so, I mean, they were so physically hungry that I was able to catch them with my bare hands. So that's telling you something. That's how weak they were. The, especially Magic, he was not going to survive another cold night. And right now it's 30 degrees. Last night, I don't even know what it was. It was in the teens, it was so cold here. So, you know, every cat deserves a chance and I know I can't save them all, but I will try. I will definitely try, um, you know, because it's not their fault. And this is around my house. And if I ignore that, and I ignore everything else that goes on in this world, then, you know, I'm just as ignorant as everybody else. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to give these little kitty cats a place to go and a home to call their own and to be loved, you know, be loved. Everybody, everything deserves love. I mean, we all do. So, you know, that's my little rant for the day. I hope you guys don't mind me ranting about that, but it is truly sad that somebody took the responsibility to have a cat and then said, forget it. You're too much, you're too hard. I'm getting rid of you. And then, you know what I mean? Like, no wonder why she doesn't trust anyone. She was hurt, you know? She was hurt, she was thrown out by your owners who she loved and cared for, you know? And house cats are not, they're not, they're domesticated, they are not you know, outside cats. She was not born outside. She was born, you know, to be cared for and to be taken care of. And I just don't find it like, you know, fair that somebody did that to her. And that's, you know, that's all I have to say about that. But if, if you guys don't mind, I will be um, putting a link down below in my description box for the cats. And I will be asking from time to time um, on my vlogs about some, you know, help and assistance for them. They really truly do need it. And I don't want to see them sick. And, you know, I'm doing the best that I can. And I also have my own four dogs. And now we have, how many cats do we have? We have four, five, five of our own cats that we are caring for and you know they are all rescue cats our, cat, our cats are rescue cats so I have always believed in rescuing and you know everybody needs love if I could adopt if I wasn't too old I would be adopting children right now because <laughs> I just love the fact that people have a big hearts and you know you can you can love
love anyone. They don't have to have your blood to love them, you know? So, but that is just me and my little rant. So today is day six, guys. I'm gonna let you go because this is a little bit, this is a little bit long and I wanna add more to my day. All right, guys, thank you so much for showing up and thank you so much for listening to me about my little- Hi, guys. Time. Okay, I am back from uh, doing all my running around. I have a short clip of Target and the problems I was having at Target is they had boxes everywhere. You couldn't even go into the, um, you know, where the lights and stuff are, the Christmas lights. They had boxes just piled in all the aisles. It was really aggravating. And especially since it's you know it's the weekend's coming you couldn't really shop so I have a little short clip of me walking through Target and Target had absolutely a zero for the um, holiday no they had a little bit of washi tape some glitter stuff like that I don't need any of that I just left it where it was all right so I did go to Walmart I get I got our a rotisserie chicken. This is my half. Stefano just cuts it right in half. That's my half. His half is going to work with him. I got because we are still doing keto, like I told you guys, we are still doing keto. However, I'm gonna change mine just a little bit. Um I was talking to my sister and she had see she had suggested that I get off of keto just a little bit not like fully like crazy keto like eat whatever you want just like a, a couple carbs here and there every week just to see what I can do so at Target I did get uh, the lower sugar maple uh, and brown sugar oatmeal like one packet maybe once a week you know just something just instead of like um, I'm I do 17 carbs and under right now but so I'm just going to bump up my carbs just once a week a little bit more than I normally do. Maybe it'll jump start my body into like losing weight those other days that I don't, that I just eat total carb. I mean total keto. Alright, so I did get um, Stefano and I some steak. Uh, we can't afford the uh, prime rib, so I did get these fatty chuck steaks. Um, these are nice and they are were only $5.83. And it looks like they uh, went and re-tagged them. There's two tags on here. So I'm not sure why, but there's two tags on there. Uh, I got some shrimp for myself because I love I love to make um, garlic butter shrimp. So these are the extra large ones. They didn't have any of the medium. So I got the extra large. They were actually almost the same amount. Um, I did get some sausage. This is... Uh, this is Italian sausage, so I'm just gonna do like the I like I like uh, potatoes, uh, peppers, and onions. We we love that. That's what we love. But we're just gonna do it without the potatoes. If I could get away with potatoes once a week, I would do that. I have some kielbasa. That's my fave. I do have some uh, Johnsonville original sausage. This is breakfast sausage. And what else did I get here? I got some Italian style cheese. Now, I know everybody's like, oh, you got that cheese that has stuff in it. So, well, we don't have it that often. So I got that for my pizzas because I do do a chicken crust pizza. And I've been making that pretty much every week. Then I got these beautiful pork chops. And Stefano and I don't need to have five or six pork chops. We only need one. It's just like our steaks. So I got that and it's nice and thick cut, nice fatty pork chop. I did get ground meat and this is 80-20. I did pick up some of this, uh, this is hard salami. Um, it's really, really smoky. It was only $1.42, but I picked that up. Got some sour cream. Now this one has, is, what is this one? Fresh and simple, no preservatives. So I got that. Some gold, Kerry gold. I did get some Philadelphia cream cheese and this is the jalapeno one. I believe they're, oh, it looks, it does. It's three carbs, so, and be two of them is because of sugar. And then I did get some uh, cabbage cream cheese. I think that's all that I got. That's it. Well, I did get other things. I got, 
Um, this is a vintage blush. I got the spray paint. I'm going to be spray painting a Christmas tree for myself to decorate it all girly and go in my craft room. But that is it. That's all I got. Stephanie got stuff this morning. So that's it, guys. I'm really going to wrap this up. I know that this is, again, another boring, boring uh, vlog. I'm not really that great at vlogs. I mean, plus, I don't really do that much to, like, show you guys around. So, um, yeah. I'm going to let you go now because I'm going to put all this stuff away. I'm going to eat my chicken because I'm starving. God, Stephanie's going to go to work in a little bit. So I'm going to grab a cup of coffee. And then I'm going to edit this vlog. <laughs> all right. I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.